Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Ladies, who are we? The Foundation for Fortitude. The mission for Foundation for Fortitude is that we educate and empower young women into becoming the ultimate successful woman regardless of their adversities, regardless of their circumstances, regardless of their environment, that they can be successful, period, point blank, the end of discussion. It doesn't matter where you come from, who's been around you, but you can be successful and we help them to define what success is for them. The pursuit of success through education is important because knowledge is power. That is something that cannot be taken away from you as an individual. The more we learn, the better off we are, the better choices that we're able to make. The Foundation for Fortitude helps these young ladies by providing them with a number of modules that give them a whole lot of skills gives them a lot of knowledge and it gives them empowerment. So it empowers, it educates, and it encourages them to reach for the goals. Um, my number one career goal is to be a homicide detective. To become a sports psychologist and a forensic psychologist. To be a forensic pathologist. To become an FBI agent or a homicide detective. Become an FBI agent. To be an EMT for ambulances. I want to have a multi million dollar um, pharmacy business. This is important to me because I'm, I love science and mysteries and to like help others. So, <laughs> what a forensic pathologist, you're solving cases that has to do with someone who died. It helps me to be able to solve the cases and find the killer so I'll be able to get the family closure. I just want to help people. I feel like that's my purpose of being on Earth, period, is to help people. To take care of my family and to feel like I'm successful, I'm doing something right with my life. I want to help others, like, solve crimes and get the bad people off the street. It's just like, I just want to be the top. Like, I want to be better than what they expect of me, especially for me being a black woman. To be a woman means to be powerful, to have power, to gain power, to show the world that you're on top. To be a woman means to throw away childish things and I feel like I haven't reached that point of being a woman yet. I'm a young lady and I'm still maturing. So, so to me being a woman, like I say, is the, the responsibilities, the priorities, and just knowing most of all, knowing your worth and having the confidence of woman. Get out of your childish way. To be a woman means to live in integrity. And what I mean by that is that I have to walk, I have to live, I have to move in integrity. I have to live by my work. To be a woman means to be strong minded, focused. If you already know where you want to be in life, like if you know your ultimate goal, then you already know the little steps that you have to take to get there. So you have to be focused on each step that you have and I get sidetracked. To be a woman to me means to be strong and hardworking, to go after what you want in life because I think, you know, you have to be, you have to be stronger because people like may put you in a box because you're a woman. So you have to like get out of that box and, uh, and be better than what they, they expected of you. The adversity that I faced in college was I started and I was unable to finish my freshman year in school. It was a great opportunity for me to get an education, but I didn't see that at the time. And I had no one there to really encourage me or to give me the tools necessary to finish out that college. The personal challenges I had while being a young lady was self-control and temperance and I had like this incident where high school I didn't even graduate high school I got my diploma but I didn't participate in, in walking 
because of fighting. So that situation opened up my eyes that I have to stop. And I feel like I took something away from my parents because they didn't have that joy of seeing me walk across the stage. So now I won't fight someone because nine times out of ten, it's not worth it. And it isn't worth it. So I just walk away. Kill them with kindness. Um, one of the biggest challenges that I see as a black woman is uh, we like being put into uh, a certain category and having to break out of that, try to show people that you're more than what they think that you are. The biggest challenge I see today in being a woman is the way society portrays us as housewives or stay-at-home moms. This is a problem because I don't necessarily agree that a woman has to stay home in order to be a woman. I think women should be out in the world working and doing everything Amanda does. Biggest challenge between black women today, I would say is um, being able to encourage each other, um, build up each other, instead of tearing down, instead of competing with each other, be able to come together as one. Well, I'm a track athlete at Edward Waters, and a personal challenge that has been for me would be my hamstring pull. Coming in as a freshman, it was hard for me to like really push myself and you know compete the way I wanted to compete because I was scared of re-injuring my hamstring. So it it was like a big bump in the road. As a woman, social life is very challenging because in college, going to parties, like guys will try to get you to drink just to take advantage of you. The personal challenge that I've been through as a woman was peer pressure coming up here. The older guys would try to like, talk to me and it was just like, he looked good or whatever. So that was a personal challenge, you just know my work. The adversities that many women, young women, have today are social issues, fitting in, um, self-image. Some of them are actually um, suffering from depression. And it's at a critical time, being a freshman or a sophomore in college, everyone thinks that it could be privileged because you made it to college. But just making it to college is is one thing, but staying and completing college is something totally different. A college education is important to me because it opens another door into me becoming successful. It gives me a chance to gain knowledge, learn new things, and experience what a lot of people don't get to experience. A college education is important to me because I feel like it shouldn't stop with high school. Like in like in today's um, world, you have to have some kind of degree to get you know to be successful in life. So I have chosen to go to college because I feel like this is my way out of my situation. It just looks better with a degree under your belt, especially being a young black woman. Uh, college education is important to me because I'm the first person in my family to graduate high school. When I'm the first person in my family to become in college, so it's important that I get this education. So when I have kids or my younger siblings and my cousins under me, I, they'll be like, "Okay, well, it's hope I can do it. She did it, so I can." A college education is important to me because it's going to open the door for me to be successful. And nowadays, education, uh, college education, is very important. Oh, I. And felt that the program was necessary because it can prevent someone from dropping out of college and it'll encourage them to, to finish and then it also builds relationships which are very important. Well the vision for the program is to be able to take an individual who is a freshman or a sophomore girl in college and empower them to continue to go through the college schedule and to get the skills that they need to be successful while in college and then also once they graduate from college to be able to go into the workforce with the necessary skills and knowledge that is important that would allow them the opportunities to be successful. The services and activities that we do with Foundation for Fortitude in our Ultimate Successful Woman program. We actually have a 13 module um, program. 
and through that we go through um, career awareness, self-image, conflict resolution, uh, job readiness, culture diversity. We also do character building and a host of other things. But the Foundation for Fortitude has changed my life by allowing me to see for myself that I can be anything in life I want to be. The uh, Foundation for Fortitude has changed my life because I just I see uh, I feel like I see myself as like a, a better person than what I did before. I feel like before I wouldn't I didn't think much of myself and now I feel like you know, I can do anything, I can be whatever I want to be. The foundation of Fort Two has changed my life dealing with respect. Respect for myself and respect for others. By giving me good characteristic strategies, I would say. Um I have a more positive attitude and I have have to care myself a certain way now being a part of this foundation and representing them. By helping me understand who I am and taking what I have and expanding it and growing. They helped me build up my confidence and they, they've they helped me know my worth more than anything. And I enjoy coming here all the time because it's, 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 the vibes are positive. They're always smiling at us and they, they make sure they take care of us. They make sure that we're okay. They've changed my life greatly, and I just love coming here, really do. The impact that's had has been phenomenal. Um, some of the young ladies have actually spoken today, actually spoken about that we had a retreat, and it was an overnight, and we did a lot of real talk, and talking about relationships, talking about um, self-worth, self-image, perception, this conflict resolution. And a couple of them have, have you know, voiced that they have had issues with their attitude, um, had had issues with making bad decisions when it comes to their early relationships. And today, um, actually, Deliria mentioned in class that um, a situation occurred, and she immediately went back in her thoughts back to the bonding event, and. She, from there, was able to make a better decision. She was able to walk away, and she felt very good about that. And that was that was like overwhelming to me because just okay, she got it, they got it. So the foundation for Fortitude has had an impactful experience on them by affording an opportunity that would not otherwise be there. We came into their college life and we gave them skills and information and opportunities that the college would not. Our program also provides them with a financial scholarship that gives them help and helps to encourage them to complete when they're faced with difficulties meeting some of their financial obligations. I am an individual who has worked really hard in my life and my career to get to a point where I feel that I've made some great accomplishments, but I really want to be able to continue to give to others. And I think that it is really important that I live a life wherein it is not about me, but it's about what I can do for others. I think that what they become to me upon the completion of the program is what we set out for them to be. And that is a successful woman. And it is someone that was able to take the information that we envision for them to get and to apply it in their lives and use it to help them to move forward. So they are ultimately the successful woman.